Salutations, everybody. Today, we're going to read our third book about gingerbread cookies. So far, we've read The Gingerbread Man, The Gingerbread Cowboy, and today, we're going to read The Gingerbread Girl. On the front cover, I see a girl. And if you look closely, it looks like she's made up of candies. We're going to do a book walk. A book walk is when we don't read every word, but we sort of retell the story. The author and illustrator of this wonderful story is Lisa Campbell Ernst. You should go to the library. Ask your mom or dad if they can take you, and you can look for her book. Let's read The Gingerbread Girl together. Here we go. Ooh, I wonder if the cookie will get eaten in this story. What do you predict? That means what do you guess or what do you think is going to happen? It says, you may remember the story of the gingerbread boy, how he ran away and how he was chased by hungry characters. And in the very end, he got eaten. Do you remember that? We read a story like that. Well, this is a different story. In The Gingerbread Girl, there's an old man and an old woman, and they're very lonely. Do you see them? Lonely means sad. So they decided that they would make a little gingerbread girl. They baked it. Do you see them getting all the ingredients? The eggs, the milk, and the sugar, and they're rolling out the dough. Then they put the gingerbread girl cookie in the oven so she could cook. There's a picture. It's kind of dark because she's inside the oven right now, but I see her. Do you see her peeking? Well, I wish the gingerbread boy had never run away said the little old lady. They were excited to have a new cookie, a gingerbread girl. So they peeked inside the oven. Uh-oh. Do you see the old man and the old woman? They're peeking inside the oven. What happened last time when somebody opened the oven? That's right. The same thing happened again. It says, bam! That's a loud sound. Out popped the gingerbread girl cookie. And she said, I'll run and I'll run and I'll leap and I'll twirl. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread girl. There she is. Look at her hair. Do you see how it's made out of long strings of candy? Uh-oh. We've got another situation where the cookie is on the run. The gingerbread girl ran and ran and ran, and she passed a family. Do you see it? Some farmers. And she said, Run! Hey, farmers! Don't bother! Like my brother, I'm fast! Run all you want, but I've learned from the past. I'll run and I'll run, and I'll leap and I'll twirl. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread girl. There she is. There's the farmers. Oh, it's the same kind of story, isn't it? Everybody's chasing her. The old man and the old woman are chasing her. The farmer family is chasing her. Then look who she came upon. A pig. She leapt over the pig and she said, I'll run and I'll run and I'll leap and I'll twirl. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread girl. Uh-oh. Now there's a big group of people chasing her. Guess what? Then she came upon an artist. It says he was making a beautiful picture outside. Do you see his easel? And there's his palette where he's painting. I'll run and I'll run with a leap and a twirl. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread girl. Uh-oh. What do you think, guys? The story's not over yet, but what do you think? Do you think she's going to get eaten? 
Oh dear. Then it says she came upon a mama cow and her calf. Mama, I want a cookie to go with my milk, said the calf. Chase, if you want, I'm faster than you. Although you have four feet, I've only got two. There she is, running away now from the mommy cow and her baby. And everybody else is also still running. That's a lot of characters on the run. Guess who she met next? She met a dog walker with his dogs. A dog walker is somebody who has a job to take dogs outside for a walk. Oh, and look at the dog's face. They look very happy. Do you think they want to eat the cookie too? She said, I'll run and I'll run with a leap and a twirl. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread girl. Oops, so the dogs didn't catch her either. Is anybody going to catch this gingerbread girl cookie? She ran and ran and ran and she came upon a school, guys. Look, it looks like a group of pre-K or kindergarten friends outside. Cookie, they yelled. I know it's snack time and you want it sweet. Come and follow along. You'll soon have a treat. I'll run and I'll run with a leap and a twirl. You can't catch me. I'm the... Did you say gingerbread girl? Good job. Well, now let's take a moment and look at all these characters. Look at all of the characters. That's a lot of people chasing this one little gingerbread girl cookie. Who do you think she met next? Look at this. It was a fox. And he's standing by a river. Hello, my pretties, said the fox. I was a friend of your brother's. It looks like you've got trouble. Let me help you cross the river, he said. Uh-oh. Now let's remember last book we read. When the cookie tried to cross the river, what happened? Do you remember the coyote in the gingerbread cowboy? He ate the cookie. What do you think's gonna happen with the fox? Look at the cookie's face. She's thinking about it, but she looks a little concerned. I promise my sweet little tidbit. Uh-oh. The gingerbread girl gingerly climbed on the fox's tail. That means slowly and carefully. She got up on his back, but the water got deeper. The water is deep, said the fox. Move up on my back. That's a good girl, said the fox with a snicker. Uh-oh, here they are. But the water got deeper. And the fox said, move up on my head. What do you think is going to happen now? She's moved from his tail to his back up to his head. Last time the cookie got eaten. What do you think is going to happen this time? Look at that. The gingerbread girl cookie pulled out a piece of her candy hair. She wrapped it around the snout of the fox. Yeehaw, she said. She wrapped up his mouth and kept riding him across the river. Did she get eaten? No, she was a smart cookie. Look at that. The fox can't eat her if his mouth or his snout is all tied up. Now that seems like the end of the story, but it's not. There's one more page. It says, we'll run and we'll run with a leap and a twirl. I outfoxed the fox. I'm the gingerbread girl. Look at this. There's the gingerbread girl cookie, and she's riding on top of the fox's back. And they're out playing and running. What about that, it says. The words say, the gingerbread girl was eventually able 
to teach the fox some manners. That means doing the right thing. Do you think they're friends now, guys? I guess so. And that's the end of the gingerbread girl. Now this book was different than our other two gingerbread books. Did the cookie get eaten in the end? No, she was a smart cookie. Thanks for listening, my friends. Come back next time. Bye-bye.